Hey guys, it is Bree from Atlas Aphasia Center, and we are going to continue to talk about those small words. So if you've watched my previous videos, we talked about why these are so hard to read when you have aphasia. And then we kind of came up with some tricks for how to remember them. We kind of pair them with a picture or a concept that is easier to remember and said the exact same way. It's a beautiful thing. Um, so I hope you've been using those flashcards. I hope you've been practicing. I have said it a thousand times, but you're going to have to practice for sure. Um, just because they're paired with an object doesn't mean that it's easy for you to, to remember this thing, right? So it's like, and like this thing, they're all kind of weird. But if you drill, you can remember. Um, so I hope you've been practicing. This is kind of a separate skill. What we're about to do is some auditory comprehension. So maybe you can read them out loud now, which is awesome, kudos. Different skill though, to be able to hear them and know which one I said, especially when I don't give you any context. I'm not gonna give it to you in a sentence. It's just going to be the one word by itself. Makes it trickier. So get excited for <laughs> what might be a hard thing. Hooray. Um, so go ahead and number your paper from one to 10. I will wait till you do that. Just kidding. You can pause the video. This is YouTube. So if you don't have a paper and pencil with you, go ahead, pause the video, go get them, come back, push play. Let's do this thing. All right. So how it's going to go is I'm going to say one of those words from that previous slide. So it's going to be one of these but you're just gonna get a big old blank screen. That's it. So I'm gonna say it, I want you to write it down on your paper and then you'll see the answer. So you'll know if you got it right. Alrighty, people, number one. So, number one is so. So, all right, so the answer now is so. I said so. This is also that picture to help you remember. So, if you didn't get it, don't worry. This is a different skill. It's going to take practice just like reading it does. Let's try the next one. Number two. I. 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 I, right? So I said, I might be when you're talking about yourself, might be this little guy right here. I, again, if you didn't get it, don't worry. Keep on trying. We got 10 of these. Give it your best shot. If you did get it, kudos. All right, let's go to number three. Not. 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 The word I said was not. Number four. R. 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 I didn't say it like that because people aren't gonna when they use it in a sentence, but I hope you still remembered that pirate. R. Number five. In. In. 
in in did you write down in in you might also we had um talked about this one sorry it's not on the screen we had also talked about using this in there's no room in the in or you can think about putting something in something else all righty number six two Two. Listen one more time. Two. One, two. Two. This one is two. Number seven. Or, or, the word is or. Or. Did you get it? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. We got a couple more. This one again was or. Ready for the next one? Number eight. Night. Night. The word is night. Night. Maybe you just think about day and night, or you could think about a knight in shining armor. Night. Number nine. Can. 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 This is a can. The word is can. You can do it. Ready? One more. Number 10. Before. 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 Hopefully you heard that it was one of those longer ones. We're putting two words together. Be for. Before. You say it. Before. All right, cool. Um, that's it. How did you do? I'm curious. Um, if you haven't done this before, it maybe was a little bit tricky. Um, I don't want to discourage you just because you've been practicing reading them over and over and over from your flashcards from your paper. Um, reading is a separate skill from listening and auditory processing. I know it feels like they should be the same thing, but they're not. Um, so if you haven't done a lot of listening and trying to hear which word was said so you can write it down. That's going to be a little bit tricky at first so you'll have to practice it just like you're reading. 
Um, but the more you do it, the better you get. And I believe in you guys. All right. So I'll try to make more videos like this in the future so you can keep practicing and let me know how it goes. Alrighty. Bye-bye.